Hi, hello guys. This is Vignesh. Welcome to Architects Learnings. Hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to see about how to copy an item in multiple times. For that, we have to use move component and series component. So let's take a look at move component. Let's draw a rectangle in Rhino. So I am going to give 25 mm from center to corner. Now we made our rectangle. Let's use extrude command to extrude the rectangle. Now we have our box. Now bring this box to grasshopper. Let's connect this. So for better understanding, I am going to hide a rhino geometry. So as you can see, we made a box. Let's move this. Bring move component. Let's connect this to this. We connected the geometry to geometry motion. Which direction and how much distance you have to move. Those things you have to give here. For that first you have to define which direction you want to move. X direction. Let's connect this. I want to move 100 mm. Let's say. As you can see, we move the component 100 mm. So, this preview is this. So, if I hide this, you can see this is the only geometry is there. So, let's unhide. So, we made a copy of one item. What if you want to do multiple item? For that, we have to use series component. So, where we can find series component? We can find series component in sets, sequence, series. Right? So, for multiple copy, what are the requirements we need? We want to know where to start, how much distance between every copy, and how much copy you want to make. Let's take a look at series component. In this, what are the inputs are the start, step and count. Start is where you want to start. Like it is from zero or after one meter or two meter like that. Then step. How much distance between each component that defined in step. Then there is a count. How many copies you have to make that define in count. The every input have a default value. The start has 0, step has 1, count has 10. So let's connect everything to the factor. So as you can see, this made a multiple copy, but it, it's overlapped because the step is 1 mm only. So let's increase this distance into 100 mm. Connect this 100 mm to steps. So, as you can see, we made 10 counts of boxes. So, let's define counts also. I'm going to give 5. So, as you can see, it made a 5 items. So, if you see, the first item is 2 red than other items. Why? Why? Because there are two previews are available. One is series preview, another one is geometry preview. So if I hide the geometry preview, as you can see, everything is same. So now we will define from how much distance we have to start. Let's connect 1000. So as you can see from the origin, it moved 1000. We can adjust this also. We can adjust this steps also we can adjust the number of counts also with the series component that's all for today guys see you tomorrow bye